the big day. We are heading out to go have Bambino. And um supposed to be there at six. And where's Dan? Waiting and waiting and waiting for Dan. It's 5.50. I'm sure we can make it if I drive. <laughs> Come on, Dan. <laughs> I'm like, all right, Dan, we have to be there in eight minutes. Can you, seven minutes, can you, you know, uh, well, what, being early wasn't an option. He says, well, they can wait on you. They can't do it without you. They can't do it without me. Okay. Getting ready. <laughs> right after, don't take a picture of me in this lovely gown. Poor, poor Dan. If I'm in labor, he's got to do the back pressure because I have back labor. But since I'm having a C-section. That's what the man gets to do. And the poor women. Look at that. Oh. See? The darndest thing, he says. They attached the remote to the bed. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, he's like, oh, so the nurse is sitting there going, oh, you still have a cough. Yeah, she's like, That's really gonna suck. <gasps> yeah. So we're scheduled for eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Have a baby by eight twenty. So Susie just went back in for her C section and I'm supposed to get dressed in this stuff and... Oh, could these things be any huger? I mean, they're humongous. They must think I'm like a really giant fat guy. <laughs> dressed and ready for surgery. Here we go. Not sure why I need to wear this thing since I have no hair. But uh, stylish. Looks pretty good. So <laughs> she's in there, just waiting on them to come get me. So I'm still trying to figure out these odds. So six boys, four girls. Last one's a girl. What are the odds? Girl or boy? And I'm thinking to myself that. We've never had two girls in a row, so could that be? Odds are we break that pattern. And last time we went girl, boy, girl. So if we have a boy, it's more of a pattern. So I don't know. I'm kind of thinking at this point maybe girl. We'll see. Susie's in there, she, right now she's getting the spinal tap, which I guess can be pretty painful to get that big giant needle. It's one of the things that she was worried about going in was uh, the pain of that. Of course, once she gets that, then there's no other pain, which is good. So that's some ways better than um, full labor, um, but the after pain after the fact uh, recovering from a c-section is much worse. I got the easy job today. I basically just stand and uh, comfort. Here we go. We're going back. I took it out. I should put yeah. it back in. Do you want it? That's what I wear all the time. But the ones downstairs that I bought. Maybe you show Rowdy a blue hat. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> We're gonna walk around that way, go to the nursery and layer and stuff. And then we'll okay. turn to our cover room to the little bit of the room. 
to the nursery. You ready to go to the nursery? Get weighed. Figure out how big you are. Huh, oh, Ellie? Oh, our little Ellie. How sweet. Seven pounds, 15 ounces, 20 and a half inches. Susie's ready. Oh, are those go see mommy. Where do you want to see mommy? She's perfect. Alright, we went home and grabbed all the kids. They are going to come and see their new baby sister. You guys excited? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! Excited to see your baby sister? Look at it in. Get buzzed in. What do you think, Amy? Huh? Hi. Where's Ronnie? Where's Ronnie? Give me Ronnie. Don't. You guys look right here. Don't tickle me. So, home from the hospital, eating dinner with the kids. We fixed a, um, some cheese ravioli with, uh, we sauteed up some red and yellow peppers and onions and made a real nice sauce for it. And uh, Brody helped with that. And we make yummy dinner and then a couple of them are going over to stay the night at the hospital. Yeah, because it goes. Already changed. It's already been up. <laughs> Out of bed, eating dinner. You just feel so much better when you get Changed. Your There's no stopping her. You just feel better. <laughs> you know? You feel better. You lay and wallow in your. You feel a million, like a million bucks. These two are staying with her tonight. I get the two little ones to sleep already, though. Yeah, because he's rock star. <laughs> By 8 o'clock, <laughs> and me and Rowdy asleep. So I could run these guys over here.